For me, a dream date would be something fun with lots of laughter and yummy champagne. Hello from New York, my name is Tina Learn, and welcome to the latest episode of Style SOS. Today's dilemma, how to style a perfect date look. We're gonna start with a few more casual looks and then go a little more evening, a little more nighttime. This is more of a day, casual look, but it can go from day to night with some of the accessories I paired with it. I'm wearing an MM6 coat, Dion Lee knit top with this cute little detail, and these Silver Lake leather pants, and a cute by far clutch. If you think this is too small to hold all your things, you can very easily change it to something like this Balenciaga, or this gorgeous Chloe. And look it, this chain matches the chain on my back. I love chunky accessories for the day. It kind of adds a little edge to your look. For a little more casual day look, you can just do little accents like these gorgeous pearl Sophie Bilbrach or a little gold banana hoop. As Coco Chanel once said, before you leave the house, look in the mirror and take one thing off. I though, I love when there's too much. More is more. A casual day look. Why is this good for a date? Well, you show your masculine business side with this oversized shirt, kind of like, I'm keeping it cool. I am wearing this lime green Valentino shirt. You could button it all up if you wanted to, or you could have it swinging, hanging around like this, so you can see a bit of this ball man belt on this ball man mini skirt. Here's another oversized shirt that you could pair with this skirt. This shirt is Gucci, as you can see, and it's in this nice crushed velvet. Actually, one of my favorite color combinations is this together. I call it Juicy Lucy Watermelon. Another casual date option are these Versaces. The chunky heel on the platform make this a little more casual, a little more daytime. And I don't know about you, but I do love a little platform. Here's a little roomier bag for a daytime casual look. But a baby pink is to die for. It's light, it's not too overpowering, and it goes with pretty much everything. This is a little more elevated, a little dressier. This Balenciaga dress I love because it has such a feminine floral pattern, a little deconstructed silhouette and shape to it. So you have a flirty little dress that moves around if you go for dinner, go for a little dancey dance afterwards. But these comfortable totem boots and this Versace little bag. Alrighty, let's go choose a few other options. This Oscar de la Renta is a little more girly for those who love pink as well. And this is a bit off the shoulder. It's a little more ladylike, a little more demure, but very fun at the same time. This I would probably pair with purple. You see in the dress there's purple, pink, yellow, so you can pair it with whatever's in the dress basically. Let's talk about shoes. Here we have my girl Amina. Pop of color kind of just brings out the pink in the dress. I think if you do the purple purse, you should probably go with a nude or a purple shoe and keep it streamlined. Now let's see what to wear to an even more formal event. When I go more evening, I like to go a little higher with the heel, possibly a little shorter with the dress. Here we have a more formal cocktail look, dripping in crystals. I love anything shiny. This is from 16 Arlington. And when you spin, it comes out like a little flapper dress. How fun is that? Crystals and feathers go so well together. It's like we're back in the 20s. That's your style SOS answered. Thanks so much for watching.